Once a dreamy and flawless look, this Photoshop technique will change your editing game in an instant. Are you struggling with retouching in Photoshop or can't find the right tools and settings to do your high-end beauty retouching? Your search is over. In today's video, I will show you the right tools and settings and how to create your frequent separation adjustment layers you will be needing to do your high-end skin retouching in Photoshop. So if you're a beginner, an intermediate or a pro, this video is designed purposely for you. My name is Akkordelia and welcome to my channel. If the above is exactly what you're looking for, then like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Now let's get started. All right, guys, so we have another beautiful image over here and we're going to attempt to make the best out of it. Yeah, as you can see, we have some 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 kind of stuff on her face. Yeah, and it's, it's looking nice. It's looking nice. The image is nice, though, but then it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for us because of this this stuff. Yeah, we're going to try to edit it without removing all the stuff on her face, which is going to be quite a challenge, but then Yes, we're out for the challenge. You're going to do this. Right, so let's start. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate the background layer first, as we do always, Control J, like that. And then we're going to try and then remove um, the pimples on the face, as many as possible. Then we're going to move to the next step that is smoothing the skin without actually affecting this um this this design this decoration on her face right so that's what we're gonna do now so i'm gonna use the two um spot healing brush too that is this one to do this so i'm gonna zoom in like that then i'm just gonna brush onto the pimples on the face as i always do always make sure the brush size is not too big that is gonna cover a big portion or a huge portion on her face so i'm just gonna go ahead and then just brush like that <laughs> there's gonna be a challenge but then yeah we can do it i love to challenge myself sometimes let me zoom out a little bit more and then just press like that. So this is what I call the basic cleanups. Just gonna go ahead and then just brush, brush. Remove as many as I can. Zoom into her face like that, her forehead. Just brush, zoom out. I normally use my scroll to key on the scroll button on the mouse to zoom in and out. So I'm just gonna hold the alt and then I'm just gonna scroll on the mouse to zoom in and out. So you can try that. And when I want whenever I want to drag the image around, I'm just gonna use the space bar to do this. I'm just gonna hold the space bar to bring up the hand tool and I'm just gonna drag with the mouse as well. Or the pen. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and then do this quickly. I'm gonna be right back. All right, now let's move to the next step. So control zero to zoom out. Let's check the before and after. This is the before and then this is the after. There's not much details that you can see, but then there is something that uh, we've been able to do so far. So I'm gonna continue and then create my frequency separation adjustment layers. As you know, that's the next step. So Control J to make another duplicate of the background layer. So we have layer one and layer one copy. So I'm gonna hide the first layer and then double click on the name of the uh, first one that is layer one and then change it to color like that and then i'm gonna make the first one that is the layer one copy visible as well and then change it to texture so what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna hide the texture layer and then select the color layer and then i'm gonna come to filter 
blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to move this until I don't see too much details on the image. I think 4.1 is cool. Let me change this to 5.4 is okay. So I'm not seeing so much details on, on my image. Yeah. So I'm going to select OK. I'm going to zoom out. Our image is looking blur as you can see over here. So I'm going to select the texture layer, make it visible like that. Then I'm going to come to image. I'm going to come to apply image. And then I'm going to change this to color layer. That is the layers to the color layer. I'm going to keep the channel at RGB. I'm going to change or keep the blend mode at subtract like this. The opacity at 100, the scale at 2, and then the offset at 128. As you can see over here, I'm going to select OK. Then I'm going to come back to the texture layer and then come to the blend mode and change this to linear light like that. Yeah, let me zoom in once more. As you can see, our image is back to how it was before. Zoom in once more. I'm going to select texture layer and then hold control and then click on the color layer and then just put this two in a group control G in a group and I'm going to change the name of this group to FS that's frequency separation. Yes. So I'm going to open this group, select the color layer, zoom into my image a little bit. And here is where we're going to find ourselves dealing with this decoration on the face yeah this is gonna be fun <laughs> so i'm gonna increase the brush size a little bit i'm gonna use the mixer brush to, to do this i'm gonna select it so my um brush soft round brush selected so we're gonna make sure we're gonna make sure this is set to clean brush this is deselected this is selected this is deselected and this is selected. We're going to change this to custom and then weight at 40%, load at 16%, mix at 31%, and flow at 48%. And then the pressure is at 10%, right? So I'm going to continue. So I'm just going to start with her nose on her nose. <laughs> Yeah, my nose bridge. I'm just gonna start brushing little by little like that. Just trying to brush and then just dodge this decorative stuff on the face. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep brushing like that. Just gonna keep brushing. So before you start brushing, if you want this, um, uh, if you want this layer created for you automatically, you can just check it out in my description. I have it in my digital store. You can just check it out. So you're just gonna press on it, and it's gonna play it for you automatically. Yeah. So. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. You can just check it out, right? So I'm just going to continue brushing like that. Just trying to evade this decorations on the face. Because once I brush over it, it's going to create this kind of effect. And it's going to make the effect kind of faded. And I don't like it. So I'm just going to press Ctrl Z to undo. I'm just going to continue. Try to dodge it as much as I can. I downloaded this image online on the that is to use. Yeah, once again, I always use the Studio to download my raw images. I shoot some on my own and then I download some online as well. So you can just check them out. So I'm just gonna continue brushing. Brushing and evading the decorations on her face as much as I can. So if you're following this tutorial and you like the content that I post over here kindly, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video as well. Thank you so much in advance. I'd like to hear you I'd like to hear from you in the comment section as well so you can drop me any comments and I'm gonna try my best to reply to you and then you can also follow me on TikTok 
and on Instagram. The links are in the description box below. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and then just smoothing the nose, trying to get our image looking as good as possible, and then still retaining the texture and everything that it came with. And I continue like that. Let me just fix the side. Always making sure you're brushing within the tones. Just to remind you, always make sure you're brushing within the tones of the image. Alright guys, so I'm going to speed this side up and I'm going to be right back after I finish. So let me zoom out, <laughs> check how my image is looking. So this is the before and this is the after. Yes, we're getting somewhere. Let me zoom in once more. Oh, this editing is very difficult. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is quite difficult. But then I'm trying my best here. Yeah, so we're on the neck now. Let me zoom out a little bit. Huh. <sighs> Oh my gosh, this image was quite a hard one to edit, I must say. This was quite difficult because of this this artistic stuff that they've done on her face. But yeah, I managed to pull myself through. So we have some pimples on the chest and stuff that isn't looking nice. And then we have some tone over here that I think has to be worked on. So I'm going to quickly and it's the side yeah so it's still on the color layer I'm using the color layer to do all this all right so this is what we're having now wow this was quite a challenge as i said earlier this was quite a challenge where you managed to get something nice out of it so i'm going to select the texture layer and i'm going to try to remove some textures on her chest as you can see you have some pimples and rashes on it on a chest that isn't looking so nice so i'm going to, going to select the spot healing brush too and i'm just going to go ahead and then brush on it Uh, let me zoom out and yeah this is what we're having let me zoom in a little bit more to her face um i think you have to work on this stuff this side on her face let's try and then smoothen it up a little bit more so i'm gonna keep the brush down use the brush size just gonna brush like that to smoothen it up I want it to look as natural as possible so that is one of the reasons why the brush is very small as you can see it if not I would have made it a little bit bigger and 
Let me zoom out a little bit more. Zoom in more. I'm going to come back to the color layer. I'm just going to try and then blend them in a bit more. Zoom out now. So this is what we have it now. Our image is looking nice. Let's check the before and after. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before. And then this is the after. Our image is looking very, very nice. Yeah, so. All right, so this is what we're having now. We did our best to maintain the decoration on the face, but then still manage to smoothen the skin. If you love this video, you can check out other videos hovering on your screen over here for more videos like this. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching and then see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.